This has been a paid presentation for Lucas Air. The proceeding was a paid commercial program on Q13 Fox. I'm planning on going for a walk, but I know that there are showers in the forecast. So I launched my Q13 weather app to see if I wait a half an hour, I'll be in the clear. Now I can go for my walk and enjoy the sunshine. Download the Q13 Fox weather app now. Powered by Xfinity. It has the power to soften the blow. Break the ice and melt your heart. A healthy smile is a powerful thing. Your smile deserves Delta Dental. The benefits that make it easy to keep your smile healthy. about Russell. He made it through everything we asked him to do. He did, he did fine. He's going to play, and, and uh, we're expecting to play well. Yeah, I'll be ready to roll, so I'm excited about it. It's been 22 years since a regular season NFL game has been played in the city of Los Angeles, and the Seahawks are taking part in history later today at the L.A. Memorial Coliseum. This is Seahawks game day alongside former Seahawk Jordan Babineau. I'm Aaron Levine, and Jordan, we can feel it in the air, the atmosphere, the excitement of the first NFL game in Los Angeles in more than two decades. It's been quite some time. In fact, the last time the Rams had a regular season game here in L.A., Todd Gurley was four months. That's huge. Wow. That's been a long time. I tell you what, one thing about the city as I traveled around is that you see a lot of Rams fans. You see that the city has high energy about the return of football back to Los Angeles. Couldn't be a better home opener against the Seattle Seahawks and Pete Carroll's return. I'll be honest, we made the executive decision to go without the jackets today because it is hot on the field in L.A. And with more on that, let's go over to our Ian Furness. Ian, you were in San Diego a couple of years ago. It was hot on the field there. The Seahawks lost to the Chargers. How will it affect the Seahawks today? Well, I think it's safe to say, Aaron, two years ago, when it was 94 degrees officially at kickoff, it was far warmer on the field, well over 100 degrees, and the heat did affect Seattle that day. It is warm right now, and it's going to be hot throughout the day. I think that will be a little bit of a factor, but both teams shouldn't really be too much affected by it because they've been work, you know, working out in the summer and so on and so forth. The other thing that comes into play is just the atmosphere in the stadium itself. One of the things that's interesting, you're playing in a historic old building, L.A. Coliseum, and it is a place that, of course, has great history with Pete Carroll and USC, national championships, Rose bowl appearances and the like. It does not feel like an NFL stadium. It feels more like a college stadium because that's exactly what it is. Fun atmosphere for the players, no doubt about it. One other note, the field you see behind me, I've talked to a few of the guys so far on the field. They say it is in spectacular condition. It won't be as fast, obviously, as the turf was in St. Louis, but the field itself, immaculate today, which should be really fun to watch. Guys, back to you. About 92,000 fans expected today at the Coliseum in an atmosphere like this with all that excitement. How difficult is it for the players to just focus on football today? Well, I can tell you one thing that Pete Carroll has instrumented and relayed this message to his team is because there are a lot of California residents who uh, are on the ball club, are on the roster, but I can assure you that Pete Carroll has these guys.